Hello everyone, you're watching Physio Classroom channel and in today's video we are going to learn the palpatory technique for accurately determining the T1 spinous and transverse process. One method to localize the T1 spinous process was covered in the cervical palpation video in which we described how C7 and T1 spinous processes can be differentiated by doing the movement testing in which on the cervical lateral rotation movement the C7 spinous process was reacting whereas the T1 spinous process was fixed. In this video we are going to cover yet another very reliable method of accurately determining the T1 spinous process and differentiating it from C7 and T2 spinous process. Now what we intend to achieve in this method is the posterior shifting of the T1 spinous process. Now as we all know that the T1 vertebra articulates with the first rib which in turn articulates anteriorly with the manubrium sterni. So what we are going to do is we are going to push the manubrium posteriorly and superiorly and because this force is going to get transmitted to the first rib which in turn is going to push the T1 vertebra backwards and this movement will be felt by the palpating finger. So I am going to keep the pad of my index finger on the tentative location of the C7 spinous process. So if my middle finger pad is over the T1 spinous process, what I am going to feel during the pushing of the manubrium is the T1 spinous process becoming more prominent under my finger pad. And when I am going to release this force suddenly, I am again going to feel the movement of the T1 spinous process under my finger pad whereas the index finger pad which is over the C7 there will be no movement of the spinous process. Similarly if I place the index finger on the T1 spinous process and the middle finger on the T2 spinous process and I repeat again this posterior shift of the manubrium this in turn is going to move both the spinous process posteriorly but again what I am going to feel is that the T1 spinous process movement is more as compared to the T2 spinous process and in this way we can accurately localize the position of the T1 and T2 spinous process. So after we have accurately determined and palpated the T1 spinous process now let's understand how we can palpate the T1 transverse process. Now to palpate the T1 transverse process we should have a fair idea about the individual's index finger width and index finger length. So let's say right now I am palpating the T1 transverse process of Aditya. So I should have a fair idea of the index finger width and index finger length of this individual which is almost equivalent to my index fingers. So now what we need to do here is we need to mark the inferior margin of the T1 spinous process and from the inferior margin we need to keep our index finger over the inferior margin and the height that we are going to get we are going to palpate the T1 transverse process along this line. So our T1 transverse process is going to fall somewhere along this line. So now we need to keep our finger along the T1 spinous process just beside the T1 spinous process and we need to keep our thumb on this line and we need to start pushing and now what we are going to feel is a hard end feel because right now we are on the T1 transverse process. Now how we can confirm that we are on the T1 transverse process is that when we are going to push the T1 transverse process anteriorly it is going to rotate the T1 vertebra to the left because I am on the right side and therefore the spinous process is going to rotate on the right side and whenever I am going to release this force I am going to feel the returning of the T1 transverse process. So this was how we can accurately determine and localize and palpate the T1 spinous process using the posterior shift method and the T1 transverse process using the finger method. See you all in our next video in which we are going to cover how to palpate the first flip posteriorly. Don't forget to share our videos maximally with your colleagues and friends. Keep learning, keep sharing and stay connected.